welcome back to Rat G, Ryan's All Things Geek, right here on 103.7 FM, Brock University Radio. Or you can be listening to us live online at cfbu.ca. All Things Geek. 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 all right welcome back to another edition of rat g radio right here on 103.7 fm cfbu brock university radio right here in the heart of st Catharines, ontario canada or you could be listening live online anytime, anywhere in the world. Well, maybe not anytime, but anywhere in the world at cfbu.ca. That's right, folks. We are on the interweb. And if you want to look us up on our Facebook page, look us up on Ryan's All Things Geek on Facebook or join the discussion at the Rat G Radio Group. I'm your host, Ryan Fleming, and I'm here with my co-host as I am every week, Stephen Lambert. Hey, what's going on? Not too much. You, my friend? Uh, not much. How was your week? My week? Your week. My week was, it was all right. It Just was... all right? That doesn't sound very exciting, especially for you. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, compared to my last few weeks, it was uh, it was definitely very uneventful. It was a down week. There was no mosh pitting. No, no, uh, no mosh pitting or crowd No surfing. green jelly, no Rob Zombie this week. No. You've let the fans down, I buddy. Have. You I have. You let the fans it down. I purple on Tuesday at Art Park, but uh, it, uh, they were calling for rain, so... yeah. Uh, I, I, I opted out. Are they still the world's loudest band? You know, I don't know. Uh, you know, I probably not anymore. You know, the probably the loudest band I've ever seen is got to be ZZ Top. Really? Yeah. And they're playing uh, at the casino soon, right? The uh, Falls View Casino, or they just so, did. Yeah. That'd be weird to see them indoors, I think, or at least in a venue like the yeah, casino. Yeah, I, I seen them at our park a couple years ago. Um, it was actually one of the first shows I ever seen too back in the '90s at uh, the old uh, Canada's Wonderland where they used to oh, have wow. uh, the Kingswood Theater there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I went to see a, a concert that was almost as good. Uh, the Bare Naked Ladies there. Ah, yes. <laughs> you know, almost on the same level. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very cool like that. And he didn't ever want. They had it. better beards, right? Yeah, much better beards, much better beards. <laughs> except for I don't think any of them actually had a beard. <laughs> I, I love the fact that the drummer for ZZ Top's name is Jim Beard, and he's the only one without a beard. Yeah, what up? What is up with that? Is that like his <laughs> trademark? That's I, his ironic. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know I if don't that's get... stage name or not, but if it is, it's awesome. <laughs> Quite awesome indeed. So uh, this week we have with us a special guest. We do. We have a cosplay connoisseur <laughs> or cosplay legend herself, Kira Khan. And that is not just a, co- a cosplay name either. That is your actual name. Uh, thank you for coming on the show. Anytime. Thanks for having me. No problem at all. Now, uh, what is your cosplay choice, uh, your your go-to costume? Uh, recently, it's been Tinkerbell, which I know you've seen me in. Yes, I have. Yeah, that's how we met um, at uh, the Well and Rose Parade mm-hmm. outside of Well Comics uh, Grand o- Opening. Grand opening. Which was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We were on TV. Yep. <laughs> Shout out Cable 10. No. <laughs> so, yeah. So, what got you into the whole, the whole cosplay? Uh, well, I started doing conventions and stuff, but first I started doing charity events. So, I started doing uh, costumes for, like, women's charities and stuff. I oh, was nice. always dressing up as Wonder Woman. And then Sweet. I really enjoyed it, so I started wearing them to conventions and stuff and doing more charity events, and now it's kind of my life. Nice. So is this a full-blown business for you now? or I wouldn't call it a business. It's still a hobby, and it will always be a hobby. Once it becomes work, it just isn't fun. So. Right. Understandable. That's uh, probably why I don't like work ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's why I don't want to get paid for this. Yeah, anyways. Hint, hint. Wait a minute, we're not getting hint. paid for this? <laughs> <laughs> no, we no, we are not. I thought uh, I thought maybe my check was just coming snail mail. Yeah, and your gift from Sears is still on its way, brother. <laughs> still on its way. Um, so, tell me a little bit more about this. Uh, you said there's a lot of charity work. What are some of the charities you've worked with? 
Well, uh, one of the big ones is actually Jace Wars. Nice. Uh, which Our friend is, Aaron Russell. Yeah, from Port Colborne. Uh, local to you, of course. Port representing. <laughs> yeah. Um, he does a children's charity which raises awareness for brain tumor research and cancer research for McMaster Children's Hospital and for Ronald McDonald's house in Hamilton. So that's the biggest one that I do now. Um, we and also, it's a big one too. Like they do a lot of good work with, with Jace Wars, and it just keeps seems, seems to keep getting better and better each year. Oh, and bigger and bigger. Yeah. Because uh, I know the first event that they had was so small. It was in like the top of the candy safari. I know you probably know what I'm talking <laughs> about, but um, it was the top room in the candy safari, and now it's you know the big city hall building or whatever it is in Port Colborne, <laughs> <laughs> the main building there. Yeah, because yeah, they're. Uh, well, they worked out of the hub there, too, a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah, because I know I went there last year for it. Mm -hmm. But not this year, I'm just saying. Uh, it, but <laughs> I was doing something else at that point. I'm a very, very busy and important man in my own mind, mm -hmm. <laughs> as the people tell me. Yeah. Um, so when you got this all started and you started going to the charity event, um, at what point, or is there a point that you're going to be looking forward to to like uh, expanding this into an actual profitable business for yourself, or is this, uh, or is there other cosplayers that you you get together with, and is that something that could happen in the future? Well, I'm a part of a group called Geek Girls, which is geekxgirls.com. It's a big group of female cosplayers that get together. Oh, I mean, very good for you <laughs> <Yeah>. guys. <laughs> um, so I am a part of that, uh, but I don't. Me personally, I don't see it becoming something that I profit off of, but it could be a possibility that would be lovely but yes. well you know it's always good to have a future plan just yeah. in case and just because you haven't thought of it before if you guys actually go into that you only have to pay me five percent i'm kind of cool like oh, that. oh yeah oh yeah are you my I'm, manager now i'm the very benevolent manager obviously yeah. if i'm only going to take five percent i'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> and i will be here all week folks <laughs> So um, there's a few things we wanted to talk about today since we had you on. Um, we're going to be doing an interview later on uh, about uh, women in pop culture, pop culture or pop culture. Oh, the hot topic. Oh, yeah, the hot topic, oh, the God. hot button topic. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that again today. Um, we're going to talk about cons as we have been for the past few weeks. Uh, we'll finish up with uh, the Sunday stuff that we missed from uh, San Diego Comic-Con. I know, I know. Everybody wants to go to San Diego Comic-Con until they actually get there. At least that's what I've been told. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and if you talk to, uh, what's his name, Jesse Eisenberg, that's playing Lex Luthor, he compared Comic-Con to genocide. I saw that. That's wow. horrible. Yeah. So we'll take that out of This Week in Geek, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I think unless you're going to San Diego Comic-Con with James Earl Jones, then uh, you're not going to have a good time. Like, exactly. Right. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, and even Sheldon didn't have a good time with him, so I'm just I'm just going to put that out there. You know, he was sick of uh, James Earl Jones by the end, and I get a feeling he's sick of everybody by the end. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't Sheldon just never have a good time anywhere? <laughs> Unless he's it's at the Sheldon. train store. Oh yes, the yes. train store. And even then, it's questionable. Well, but when even when he takes a ride on the train, though, he he still had a pretty good time as long as he's got someone there who knows just as much about trains as he does. Oh, that guy. That guy. <laughs> See how we just uh, devolved into a whole Big Bang Theory segment there? <laughs> That's right, folks. We got it all covered for you. Don't worry. Next, we'll be hitting Silicon Valley. <laughs> no? Nobody? No. I get the crickets? It, yeah, I, I started it. I I liked it. I just, yeah. uh, I, I got so many shows on the go right now. It's, I'm the same way, too. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually, uh, I've only seen like two episodes of That's it. That's so. probably about where yeah. I'm at. I like TJ Miller, though. He's yeah, funny. He's, he's awesome. going to be great in Deadpool. So, as the weasel, or weasel. Right? It's going to be pretty dope, as the kids say. Wait, do the kids still say that? I'm saying it. It's going to be dope. It, it's back then. It's Thank you. Thank you. Trendsetter right here. Hashtag dope. Hashtag dope. <laughs> as long as we're not starting Wait. it off with well and dope. <laughs> so, again, this is the Reggie Radio Show, and we're just sitting here with uh, our friend Kira Khan. Khan, no S at the end. There's an S. It, well, Fantastic, then. It's even better. Surprise. Kira Kahn's. I guess the only, way, the only way that could be more awesome is if your middle name was Constantine. Kira Constantine? Cause Khan. I think I should legally change mm. it now. I think um, I think we're set. Done. <laughs> I just think you should change your middle name or to Comic. Constance. Comic would be even better. Comic oh, Cons. Yeah. I'm just that saying. That that, that's why they pay me the big money. 
Again, five percent. Five percent. That is still big. Shut up. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> So, um, yeah, there was a lot going on last week uh, with the end of Comic-Con and then uh, just a lot this week in uh, the world of entertainment. So we're going to get things started with our This Week in Geek. And this week, Steve's going to lead us off as he so often does. All right. Well, well uh, I think uh, I was going to start with the biggest story of this week, which I think is Pluto. But uh, we'll save that. Mickey Mouse's dog? No, not Mickey Mouse's dog. The oh. former, the planet formerly known as... The dwarf planet, you mean? Dwarf planet, formerly known as a planet. <laughs> Thank but, uh, you, yeah, we'll start, Tyson. We'll start with the sad news, uh, like we do every week. Yeah. Um, British longtime uh, theater actor, uh, British actor uh, Aubrey Morris died at 89 years old. Mm-hmm. Uh, best known for his work in Clockwork Orange as Mr. Deltoid. The, Such uh, a creepy movie, right? creepy role. That, that yeah. scene in his bedroom when he comes to... Uh, like, well, we went. We saw the the display at the Stanley Kubrick did, exhibit, yeah. and they had that. Yeah, it, oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just. I. That's one of those movies I could never watch a second time. Really? I just there's there's certain movies that are just so creepy and so weird and out there. That's one of them. American Psycho is another one that I can never watch again. Love the movie when I watched it the first time, but I'm like, okay, that's good. That's good for me. And actually, you know, one that's not as weird, but I find the same problem with The Departed. Love the movie The Departed, but I cannot watch it a second time. Well, it's one of those things. You already know what the yeah. ending is. That surprise That's like u- yeah. usual, spo- usual suspects for me. I could still watch it, though. See, yeah, yeah. no, that's, that's one of those movies for me. I just really, actually really enjoyed the acting in uh, The Usual Suspects. Uh, was it Gabrielle Byrne? Uh, is the lead actor and Stephen Baldwin Stephen actually Stephen Baldwin Stephen Baldwin doing a good acting job oh my god look out Biodome <laughs> Biodome 2 anyone anyone uh, yeah so no there were some great Benicio Del Toro got to start there Kevin yep. Spacey as Verbal Kent you know it, it was a phenomenal movie top to bottom in my for my money I showed it to my son my 14 year old son last year and he said halfway through the movie he goes I think it's the handicap guys that Kaiser shows. I, I almost slapped them. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, not really? allowed to be smarter than me uh, as I was at that age. Exactly. I mean, I'm like, I, that was the first movie that ever stumped me. I was like, that was, he was the farthest uh, person from my mind for, spoiler alert, being Kaiser Soze. <laughs> I don't think it's a spoiler alert 20 years later, is it? I don't know. Yeah, I still get yelled at from some, for some people for spoiling stuff. I was... Uh, Someone had mentioned Solly and Green, the movie Solly and Green, right. and I posted a, a picture saying, um, for the people, by the people, it is people. <laughs> <laughs> and they got mad at me for spoilers. They're like, oh, what if oh someone's never God. seen... I'm like, that was like 1970-something? Like, that was before we were born. Yeah. I'm like, that's... Come on. We're taking things a little too seriously with the spoilers. But anyways, uh, on, onward you go. <laughs> so yeah, uh, like I said, uh, you know, Aubrey Morris... Um, he was a graduate of the uh, British you know, Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts. Longtime stage actor. Uh, a career that spanned 75 years. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, his he's... most recent appearance was uh, in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I don't know if you've yeah, seen yeah, the show. I've, yeah, I've only seen it like a couple times. Yeah, it's a, it's a great show. I like it. So, uh, yeah, anyways, that's uh, that's our sad news out of the way. No, was that the only death we had this week? I thought there was someone else that passed away this week. But... Uh, I'm not sure. I, I, you know, right before I, I came here, I seen it was a hoax. No. I don't want, to, I don't want to say unfortunately because I never wished death upon anybody. Right. But uh, I seen it was uh, Maynard from Tool. Yeah, was that a hoax? Because yeah, I just it, saw that it today was too. A hoax, yeah. Okay. I, I, not like I said, you know, I just I'm not a big Tool fan, so I was for for a half a second there, I was you know excited about the fact of never hearing another t- new Tool album. <laughs> I never understood those hoax posts, like death yeah. posts. Those are so. Ugh. The, the you know the posts I don't understand, and the ones that actually anger me when I see people repost them are the ones that say, "Find a movie that doesn't contain the vowel this." Oh, and there's God. you're like, there's like seventy thousand of them. If you can't think, it's like right. And all the time you see that, and whether yeah. it be a book or name name a kid's name, name a city that doesn't have an e in it. Seriously, come on, man. But Anyways, when people screw those up are very, very funny. <laughs> like a city without an E in it, Welland. Like yeah. seriously. <laughs> How are you spelling it? <laughs> yeah, well, that's always good as a kind of like a public service announcement mm-hmm. to those of us to stay away from that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, so you're on the mm-hmm. short bus. Um, yeah. and also a testament to our education system. 
let us not go there. <laughs> Let's save that for our political show coming up um, next to never. <laughs> what else you got in the news for us this week? Uh, well, uh, like I said, uh, Pluto. Um, big news uh, out of the NASA space station, uh, or the satellite, New Horizon, I yeah. should say. Uh, finally did its flyby. It, uh, it left in, I think it was 2006. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually, you know what, I thought it would have taken a little bit longer than that. I, I was surprised that we were, especially for, I know 2006 doesn't seem that long ago, but just for the technology we had back then compared to what we have now, mm-hmm. I thought it'd still be another couple of years before we before we got to see a clean picture of Pluto. Yeah, so it, it sent back some great images of uh, Pluto and its moon, uh, mm. a few of its moons. Um, they said it's uh, it's going to take about 16 months to get all the data back from because it takes uh, right, it, 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 it can only ch- send at I think it was 1.2 kilobytes. Wow. Yeah, so it's going to take uh, a while to get everything back, but uh, no. al- already so like the the m- mountains I seen pictures of the ice mountains and, they and said they're, they're saying they're less than uh, 100 million years old. Really? Yeah. Mm. So I, I wonder like- if there's life there. Yeah, and I just mean I don't even ice mean means like water, a, right? yeah. Ice means water, and I just mean microbes. Yeah, anything, oh yeah, know? for like, sure. Because there's there's good possibility, like you said, if there's water, it's like um, Jupiter's moon. Uh, which one is it? It's got the lakes on it, though. Europa, is that right? But uh, they say the same thing that they they figure the lakes there have some kind of microorganisms in them, which is pretty darn cool, if you ask me. Um, some other news we had this week, which is. Kind of sad news, I think. Um, Disney is doing a prequel to Aladdin based on Genie. Yeah. I'm surprised it took this long. Yeah, live action, though. Oh, really? Live action, so it's going to be different. Yeah. And, uh, and people are all upset because, you know, no Robin Williams or whatever. Um, Dan Castellina did, did it pretty well, though, on uh, the TV show. He did Genie for years. Um I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, honestly. I'm scared. Yeah, I'd be okay if this was something that was for Disney Channel or Family mm-hmm. Channel for the kids, because um, like they're doing like this sh- movie called Descendants. I only know this because I have children. Uh huh. <laughs> but it's like the kids of like right. Jafar, Maleficent, and all of them. Um, I'd be cool with them doing that. Yeah, I'm telling you the truth, man. <laughs> I don't watch Disney Channel. You no, know, I, I have to confess, often. I've actually never seen Aladdin. What? I know. Wow. You, I know. You can leave. You can yeah, leave. You, I know. you can definitely leave. There, there, there's a whole list, list of those movies from the 90s. Like, I mean, I didn't have kids until I was, you know, my 30s. So, uh, Lion King, never seen it. Toy Story, never seen it. Uh, Lion King, you've never seen never either? Never seen it. Yeah, now Come you, on, man. Now you can really leave. <laughs> I'm the wow. new co-host, folks. Uh. Wow, Steve, I, I, I'm shocked and appalled. Okay, maybe that's overstating things a bit. <laughs> but come on, man. Aladdin used to be Aladdin used to be like my go-to date movie. <laughs> like, I mean, it, it, if I had a, a girl come over to my place or something, I'd be like, oh, want to watch a movie? Well, all I got is Disney movies, you know? want to watch Aladdin or something. I'm telling you. I don't know what... I, I don't want to know what you did to this child's movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> playing in the background. That's terrifying. We don't want to say anything about rubbing the lamps. No. Um, <laughs> Well, can you feel the love tonight? I know that was Lion King, but that was another one. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, that's right. I'll be here all week. So moving on, what else we got in the news for us, Steve? Well, uh, I think uh, Lucasfilm and uh, Disney's a little upset with Amy Schumer. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, uh, she is, did a cover shoot and a photo spread for GQ magazine with uh, her and... C-3PO and R2-D2 in some very racy pics. She looked good, though. You know what? She I went and seen Trainwreck last night. I'm a big fan of... You got your five-second review. Do you really want to waste it now? No, no. <laughs> I, I'm a big fan of the Amy Schumer show. I, she, I absolutely love her. She's, I think she's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. I think she's hilarious. Oh, yeah. I, I absolutely love her. She, she's my new celebrity hall pass. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and what does the wife think of that? I, I don't know. We didn't ask her. She just made me leave the movie early last night. So, yeah, so uh, she was in a pretty uh, provocative pose with uh, C-3PO there. Yeah. It was pretty provocative, though. Yeah, they had the blowtorch out, and (laughs) there was... uh... (laughs) There was some some stuff going on. If you haven't seen the pictures, go check it out, because I don't know how much of that we can describe on the radio. You do have a point there, sir. (laughs) 
So yeah, I don't know. Like I, I, I can't believe that a reputable magazine like GQ would go ahead with a photo shoot like that with not getting the permission of Lucasfilm or, or Disney. They had to expect some backlash because as as soon as Lucasfilm turned over to Disney, like they've been really crunching down on who's allowed to do what and yeah. Oh, yeah. so because everything with Disney everything's public image over mm-hmm. there, you know, and they want that family image. Um and that's why you do see things like Marvel getting watered down quite a bit with even even some of their comic books are getting a little more watered down, you know, and you got to think that a lot of that is just from uh, the people up top. You well, know? think of back in the 80s when Marvel did the swimsuit issues. Yeah. And then now would you see anything like that happen? No. It's too racy. No. And then but have you seen uh and I don't think I don't think it's Marvel sanctioned though. But there's there's these pictures going around uh Facebook of Marvel super heroines and they're uh doing like covers, like they're 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 covering covers, album covers. So like uh there's Spider-Woman doing the Nicki Minaj thing, you know, all bent oh, over yeah. and stuff and they're pretty nice photos. Mhm. <laughs> I'm just speaking art-wise here. Kids cartoons, Marvel superheroes, what's next? <laughs> you don't want to know, honestly. Oh, uh, you no, don't want to know. know. <laughs> I will be single for the rest of my life. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, with that in mind, I'm going to take our first break of the afternoon. Just want to remind everybody you are listening to Rat G Radio right here on 103.7 FM, CFBU, Brock University Radio. Or you can be listening live online at cfbu.ca, anywhere in the world. And with that, folks, we will be right back. All right. Welcome back to Rat G Radio right here on 103.7 FM, CFBU, Brock University Radio. Or you can be listening live online, anywhere in the world, at cfbu.ca. I'm your host, Ryan Fleming, and I'm sitting here with my co-host, Stephen Lambert. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. And we're here with our uh, special guest, cosplay connoisseur, cosplay uh, crazy woman. Jeez, I was just running out of alliteratives there. <laughs> Kira Kahn's. How's it going? Well, good, but not so good now. Crazy well, woman. Well, I, I had nothing else to go with the C's there. Well, I, I did, but nothing I could say on the radio. And mm, it, so rude. how about them sabers, though, <laughs> yeah. right? Like, really? Um, Jack Eichel looking pretty good. Um, <laughs> so we're going to finish up our This Week in Geek. Uh, what else you got for us this week, Steve? Well, uh, Marvel had a movie open last night, uh, Ant-Man, starring Paul Rudd. Yes, uh, I almost went to go see that before the show today. Did you? Uh, yeah, but then... Couldn't that was I, I was I had to choose between that and Trainwreck last night, and, mm-hmm. and it was Trainwreck. My, my girlfriend gets two votes, so <laughs> right, isn't that the way it's supposed it, to it be? Was, it was Trainwreck. Yeah, nice. <laughs> so, and so how did Ant Man do on its opening night? Uh, it had the second smallest Marvel opening. Uh, wow, irony. Yeah, yeah. I guess if it was the smallest, that'd be the only way it would be even better. Yeah, yeah. That's that's sad though because uh, they were expecting big numbers from Ant Man, and I've it's, heard nothing but good things. Me too, me too. I've heard it's like uh, one of the best Marvel movies. For, uh, yeah, like and the, it's one I've been reading about it is uh, if you're not a fan of the superhero or the Marvel, you know, movies genres, yeah. it's one of those movies that you'll you can watch it anyways. Endearing, still like it, yeah. You know, like Paul Rudd's just one of those one of those characters, you know, you, that everybody likes. Yeah. So uh, yeah, twenty two point six million, uh, second smallest Marvel opening next to uh, the Incredible Hulk. Wow. Uh, so. Wow. Yeah. That's kind of sad. So, well, we'll have to wait and see what the weekend numbers look like. But. Well, folks, go out as soon as this show is over. Go out and watch some Ant Man. Okay, you know you want to. Just don't bring any sugar. Because that's how you get ants. Do you want ants? That's how we get ants. <laughs> that was my Archer. Sorry. <laughs> It was a be. great impression. Great. Lovely. Right? Right? I, I'm thinking of cosplaying as them this year because I've obviously got the impersonation down, Pat, that I think my look is almost the exact same as Archer as well. Oh, yeah. I could see it. I was thinking more uh, Bob's Burgers. Man! <laughs> Sorry, hope, same, same voice. I hope you're talking mm. about Bob at least. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Not the burgers. No. So, uh, there's been a lot of... Uh, Dissension over uh, the leaked pictures from Fox's X Men Apocalypse, oh. where they, <laughs> where we've gotten our first look at uh, Apocalypse, and for some reason he's purple like Barney the dinosaur, um, and he looks an awful lot like Ivan Ooze from the Mighty. Mr. Ooze? Yes. Right? Does he not though? Oh yeah! Like it is uncanny with the X Men. 
<laughs> See what I did? Yeah, all right. Um, but, but yeah, wow. So people are kind of going crazy. But normally when uh, the nerd world goes crazy over stuff like this, you know, all we hear is all that nerd rage and, oh, I hate it, I hate it. This time all it is is people making memes about the Power Rangers and I I, I love it. <laughs> I it's think hilarious. It's yeah. Um, how do they make this mistake, though? Like, how do you not make Apocalypse look like Apocalypse? I don't know. Like, they there's obviously... cosplayers out there that look better than this. Yeah. Well, they they obviously wanted a little bit more attention, so maybe on the, the funny side of, hey. <laughs> Have you seen it yet, Steve? I haven't, no. So, here. It's good. I'm going to show you a picture online. Is that the one with Psylocke in it, too? No, the one that I did with uh, Psylocke, and uh, she's dressed up as Rita oh, Rapunzel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. interesting. The one on the left, it's a side-by-side -side of a cosplayer. The top, the top left here? Yeah, the top left yeah. and the bottom left are cosplayers as uh, Apocalypse, and they look just like the comic book. And then you've got uh, Oscar Isaac, who looks like uh, Barney and Ivan Ooze's love child. I just don't get it. I really like Fox. What is going on with Fox? Like they are so lucky they have Ryan Reynolds on board for Deadpool because that would be a train wreck as well if it wasn't for Reynolds. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm sure Gambit's going to be a train wreck. Oh. Bad actor, bad studio, bad times. I've always had it in for Fox though, ever since Firefly. So right. <laughs> And then, and then uh, after Firefly was Fox News. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> sorry, but I'm good there. I don't Whereas think I like we call that, it. I call it Fox News, but F A U X. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Like, I was gonna say everybody. that's not really news. <laughs> no, it's make believe, as they say. It's all make believe. But yeah, so so that was in the news as well. You got anything else for this week? Ah, uh, no, that's that's about it for me. That's it for you? Well, That's it. I'm sorry. I'm a little disappointed in you. I'm not even going to lie a little bit. A um, couple of little small things. Ian McKellen uh, plays Magneto, Gandalf, and everything else cool in the world. Uh, came out and uh, this week and said that Superman's a joke, but X-Men is about something. <laughs> like, what? wow. Stirring the pot for yeah. reasons unknown. Yeah, really. But, uh, yeah. Um, and I think he was talking about the movie verses, but still. Yeah. Yeah, the Superman movie, it's still lacking. Still lacking so much. Mm -hmm. um, but come on, the X-Men movies aren't even X-Men movies. <laughs> like, it's 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 Brian Singer's verse, and it has almost next to nothing to do with the actual comics at all. Yeah. You know, like, they're talking in X-Men Apocalypse. Havoc's going to be in it, and so is Cyclops. But Havoc, who in the comic books is Cyclops' younger brother, and the movies is like 30 years older than Cyclops. Like, uh, he's going to end up being his dad or something. But I thought they'd make it better after the Days of Future Past because they could, you know, go back and redo everything. Yes. And I thought that's why they did Days of Future Past so that they could take another stab at it. But they're just, everything I've seen is making me sad. Crap. Sad panda, for sure. <laughs> I don't blame you at all. Um, and uh, some last news uh, Arrowcast. Uh, Echo Kellum to play Mr. Terrific. Uh, so he joins uh, Jay Garrick as well on the show. So looks like we're getting our JSA uh, installment into Arrow this year, which will be really cool for us comic book fans. Uh, I'm, I myself am pretty excited about that. And the last piece of news, this is very important. Uh, new seaweed has been discovered, and it tastes just like bacon when it's fried. So not only is it good for you, it tastes like bacon. It's still seaweed, though. It tastes like bacon. Does it have the texture of bacon? Or I is it going to be know. slimy? It's fried. So okay, it won't be slimy okay. if it's fried. Uh, I'm still waiting for someone to invent bacon seeds. <laughs> to grow your own bacon? Yes. They, they do have bacon seeds. They're called piglets. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm sorry. With that, I just want to remind everybody you are listening to the Rat G Radio Show right here on 103.7 FM. See FBU Brock University Radio right here on... Well, in the heart of St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada. Or you can be listening live online anywhere in the world at cfbu.ca. That's right. We are on the internet, folks. And uh, I'm sitting here with my co-host, Steve Lambert, as I do every week. And our special guest this week, uh, cosplay cosmonaut, <laughs> cosplay chameleon, cosplay oh. 
creator. Yes. Oh my God, <laughs> Kira Cons. He, he's running out of words, guys. I, I was, I was. <laughs> wow. I don't know how Stan Lee does it all the time. Matt Murdock, Peter Parker. Well, we Fing understand. Fang yep. yep. I, I'm just saying, it's not easy as he makes it out to be. <laughs> well, folks, uh, we are at the bottom of the hour, so uh, that does mean one thing, and it is time for our Steve's five second movie review. Yeah. <laughs> The crowd goes wild. Weird. Uh, so, what do you got for us this week, Steve? Uh, well, as we've already said, I went and seen uh, train wreck, uh, train wreck, which I just made that a train wreck <laughs> last night, uh, starring uh, Bill Hader, Amy Schumer, and uh, LeBron James. Nice. And uh, you're going to give us a, a pretty good uh, review there. No special guests this week. No, no. All right. Well, it's too bad because I, 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 we got a lot of feedback for uh, the governator coming out. So I was going to say I missed him, and I, I really regret it. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. Hey, he, speaking of impressions, have you ever seen Bill Hader? <laughs> his impressions if you haven't seen Bill Hader's impressions man he he is amazing he can do so many voices it's I've only seen him do Stefan yeah and I've seen John Hamm do his Bill Hader it was in an interview late recently with Amy Schumer never mind look it up online it's funny um <laughs> so all right Steve why don't you uh why don't you give us uh, your five second review there of train wreck LeBron James come on Fair enough. Fair enough. I think that I think everyone was gonna uh, think that going into that movie, <laughs> especially when people heard, "Oh, LeBron James is in it." Oh, it'd be cool to see his little cameo on there. Like, no, he's one of the start. Wait, what? Is yeah. this is this his way of trying to get uh, Space Jam two in the works? I I don't know. You know what? I I would have rather sat through another Shazam than watch the, that. That was probably the worst part of the, the movie last night was was his oh. acting. So was the movie? Did you like the movie though? You know what? I, I I went into the movie thinking it was going to be an hour and a half of Amy Schumer taking raunchy uh, opportunities for raunchy jokes, just like her TV show, and it wasn't that at all. She she really showed that she can act. It, it had a solid story. I mean, it was a bit of a rom com. Yeah, of course. But uh, yeah, no, I, I I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, um, how was Bill Hader though? Because I'm always off and on with Bill Hader, depending on on the role that he chooses. He wasn't uh, he wasn't really the comedic uh, force behind the movie. He, he no, played you, a pretty, you he played a pretty straight arrow be. last night uh, in that in that movie. Uh, he was uh, a sports uh, therapist or a sports doctor. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's how he had the friendship with LeBron James. Yeah, because LeBron himself. was his like his best friend, right? Yeah, uh, Omar Omari 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 Omar Stoudemire. Yeah, he made a cameo in the film as well. Oh, well, then it had to be fantastic. His acting was way better than LeBron James's. So, wait, LeBron James had a hard time acting being himself? Yeah. The, yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> if you've ever seen him on the court when uh, he's been taken off mm. the court for leg cramps, he's not a very good actor. <laughs> yeah. We all could have said that a while ago. I'm just saying. Sorry, Bron, Bron. Sorry, I'm a Kobe guy. I can't help it. I uh, always have been, always will be. Thank you. But, yeah, so it was a good movie. That's good to hear um kind of wishing you would have went to see ant-man though yeah i, I would have liked to come in with something for ant-man today but, but you were uh, outvoted yeah like I said, two I, to one in a mm-hmm. two-person vote <laughs> hey we do get two votes i'm telling you now <laughs> again i'm gonna save my reply for that for another show <laughs> thank you we'll be here all week <laughs> chirp 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 um so we want to talk a little bit this week, um, kind of about, uh, especially seeing as though we have Kira here, um, about the female role when it comes to pop culture and, um, you know, even in, when it comes to things like cons and cosplaying and stuff like that. What are some of the hurdles that you come across uh, cosplaying going out to cons as opposed to uh, what you see like uh, your male counterparts? Bathrooms. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you want to expunge a little on that? Well, I don't know if you saw the interview that, uh, oh, God, her name escapes me right now. Psylocke, Olivia. Olivia Munn. Yeah, Munn, where she yeah. popped her crotch. Yeah, well, she. Not literally. Her, 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 her crotch piece that she was wearing in her costume. She literally has to get oiled up to get into <laughs> I know, her costume. It's so awesome. <laughs> and. <laughs> She looks okay. Do you need a minute? I do. <laughs> okay. I, uh, I, I was sweating before, but now I'm really sweating. Yeah. It's Olivia Munn. I'm sorry. Panting even. 
G4 TV. Woo. Woo-hoo. Attack of the show. Woo. Okay. Uh, I'm okay. I'm yeah. okay. <laughs> but she the does look, room. Yeah. <laughs> okay, she I'm looks bad. phenomenal in the costume, but it takes her a long time to get into it, and it takes her even probably about as long to, if you guys can't see this, there's some fanning going on. Well, we can't help it, though. It's it's Olivia Munn. Oh, okay. And uh, you're talking about her getting lubed up. Um, no, I totally get it. She's one of my girl crushes, so oh, I, I get it. Me too. I get it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, going to do anything, like even just getting out of costume at the end of the day or getting into costume is, I find, well, not for everybody, but more elaborate for a lot of our stuff, like when yeah. you're in latex suits. Not fun. True enough. Yeah, I always wondered how, uh, like, you see that one girl that goes out and does the latex uh, venom suit always cosplay. Yeah. And that's just literally just painted right on her body. Mm -hmm. How how does she go to the bathroom? Like, hold it all day or? Yeah. Man, talk about your dedication to something you don't get paid for. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, well... And that's the same with the Witchblade. I don't know if you see the Witchblade girl oh, that goes yeah. around as well. In I think her, her name's cause... Jessica or Jess or something. Yeah. yeah I don't know. I call she's her Angel. She's smoking. Yeah, yeah. I call her Angel. Oh, yeah. Just because. She's my angel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, now, what about... So, so the costumes are a problem. Do you find any problems, you know... Um, what are the guys like uh, interacting with you're, you? You're trying to get me in trouble here. <laughs> I'm not trying to get you in so. trouble. I'm just trying to... I'm trying to see... Um, you know, are guys like you know doing the cackling and stuff, or you know? It depends on what you're in. Yeah, <laughs> if you are, if you're in your Tinker Bell outfit, it's not as much. N- not so much, yeah. mostly because if they've got children, their children are coming up to me, and they don't right. want, you know, to they do don't want to scar their children. Exactly. What's Daddy doing to Tinker Bell? Help her! Help her! <laughs> Someone call Peter Pan. <laughs> um, yeah, because he's going to help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that suit is fabulous. I'm sorry. That was great. Wasn't it, though? <laughs> Impressions are getting better. <laughs> Thank you. You're she... a natural for that one, though. I'm... Weird. <laughs> Odd. I don't like where you're going with this. I'm coming up. <laughs> I'll be here all week, people. <laughs> Send all your hate mail to Kira Khan's. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, but if you're in a uh, costume that you've taken and say you've amped up the sexy we'll call that amped up the sexy i find people either love it or they hate it and you get a lot of so give me an example what's uh amping up the sexy for the people at home uh hmm a lot of cleavage (laughs) a lot of the bootay (laughs) so Uh, what what would be one of your more revealing or sexy outfits sexual sexing it up outfits I'm worried that you're going to be on my page later looking for it. <laughs> what makes you think with, I haven't already been? With no. cartoons in the background. <laughs> Just X-Men on Fox. Oh, yes. Sorry. That's what I do. <laughs> um, well, I do a lot of pinup versions, which is usually taken from different artists. Yep. Uh, I know I do a Captain America pinup, which is taken actually from an artist called Be- Becca Whittaker. Um, There was another one I did, Bride of Frankenstein, where I was just wrapped in bandages. Nice. And that one was taken from Petri Arts, so that would probably be my most revealing because I wasn't wearing any clothes, just bandages. Nice. And how... uh, Now, you're in a relationship. How how does your counterpart feel about stuff like that? I don't wear stuff like that to conventions. I just wear them for photo shoots. My thing is, if I'm comfortable, because he doesn't really care... Right. He's more, as long as I'm comfortable with it, he's okay with it. Oh, that's cool then. And I'm not comfortable with a lot of things. <laughs> so. <laughs> Sounds like he's a keeper. Yeah, I'll hold on to him for a little bit. <laughs> he's standing right there, so I have to say that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. He is our video videographer uh, himself, Mr. Goldie. Love it. Thanks, Wild Bunny Hair for Photo Studios. Bam! Nailed it again. That's right, folks. I did my homework this week. Uh, so okay so guys aren't as bad as what they used to be is it I, I wonder if it's different though like I wonder if you change kind of the people at a con if you're to take kind of the geeky type guys out of there and put in like say jocks in there if that's a totally different story you mean fan expo last year when they had their sports section yeah that was great <laughs> that so was something so like, great so something like that though How, what's it what's it like dealing with the crowds and stuff you know um I don't get a lot of it. That's the thing is I find that people 
either respect what I do or they respect me enough to be nice. I'm sorry, I don't have great stories for you. No, but. no, 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 that's good to know. It's, <laughs> it's Honestly, it's better to know that uh, we're kind of evolving as, mm-hmm. as a people, you know. As a species? You men are evolving as a species? <laughs> Is that what you're trying to say? Hey, hey, it's... That that might be bad for us, but it's always women that are looking for equal rights. If I was you guys, I'd be looking to be better than us, honestly. You need to raise your standards. No. I'll be here all week. Thank you. Send your hate mail to Welland Wignut. Still waiting. Still waiting. I know. And I keep, I keep deflecting it all your way, too. So, all right. So, um... Let's get into cosplaying and conventions then. All right. All, all right, right. All right. All right. So, um... Well, how long have you been cosplaying? Uh, since 2010, so five years. Wow. Yeah. And now do you go to conventions every year since then? or? Uh, for the first couple of years, I was just strictly doing charity events. And then I started going to conventions in 2012, and I've been steadily going since. Nice. So how many would you say you hit a year? Oh. Uh, <laughs> that good, eh? In 2012, I only went to two. And then it kind of grew from there, and now I usually go to as many as I can. Oh, wow. So you like Anime North? Uh, I've Fan actually Expo? never been to Anime North. Really? I mean, I hear so much, good, so many good things about Anime North, and I've never been to it either. See, I'm just, I'm not into anime personally, no, so neither am I. I'm scared to go there. Yeah. Well, you know what? It was Akira that kind of really turned me off of uh, of uh, anime. I know everybody loves Akira, but for me, it was just weird. Yeah. yeah. The only type of like kind of anime that I liked as a child was uh, Heavy Metal. And that was just mostly because it was the SCTV <laughs> cast. I'm like, hey, that's John Candy's voice. Yeah. So. See, but, I was always into I was into Pokemon, but people don't really consider that an anime anymore. Mm-hmm. And Dragon Ball Z, I used yeah. to watch that when it was on YTV. I don't know if it still is, but. I think it just came back. I think yeah. they're making a movie. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. That would be fun. Yeah, Super Goku. <laughs> I don't know. I don't watch it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care for it. I, I try to. It was, uh, you know, what the closest for anime uh, that I got to ever watching was uh, the old Teen Titans cartoon that was on. Oh yeah, I used to watch that with my son, mm-hmm. and even that took me a while to get into that one. So I've been told that you should get into Kill a Kill, like I should get into Kill a Kill because it's a lot of showing skin and Kill they a think Kill, Kill a Kill. Oh, sounds a little redundant, but okay. Well, we we won't. Uh, we won't say anything about that. <laughs> what we will do, though, is we're going to take our last break of the day. Just uh, want to remind everybody, you are listening to Rat G Radio right here on 103.7 FM, CFBU, Brock University Radio, or you can be listening live online at cfbu.ca. Don't forget to look us up on our webpage as well, on Facebook at Ryan's All Things Geek, or if you want to become a part of the discussion, join our Rat G Radio group. That's R-A-T-G Radio Group. And with that, folks, we will be right back. Welcome back to Ratchy Radio right here on 103.7 FM CFBU Brock University Radio or you could be listening live online at cfbu.ca. I'm your host Ryan Fleming and I'm sitting here like I do every week with my co-host Mr. Stephen Lambert. Hey, thanks for having me. Hey, no problem. I even will turn up your mic for you. <laughs> and then we also have with us a special guest this week. Let's see what I can do this time. We have our Crimson Cosplayer our Canadian cosplay cutie, uh, <laughs> our cosplayer Cruella Deville wannabe, <laughs> Miss Kira Khan. Rude. Rude. R- Come on, Cruella Deville's awesome. She's nice and skinny, so I appreciate that. See, Thanks that's what that. I'm. That's what I'm doing. That's what I do for people. <laughs> I'm here to lift people up. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Now I'm um, getting into uh, the ladies, uh, especially when it comes to pop culture. Now, are you a comic book reader at all, or a fair bit? I like uh, sci-fi comics mostly. But okay. So, so what's on your pull list? Pull my pull list. Your pull. P-U-L. Okay. You what, said it like you said pull list. Like I'm voting. <laughs> Okay, we could say it for that too. No. <laughs> um, I like stuff that has like the symbiotic relationship, so like Witchblade. Oh, which, nice! Yeah, I yeah. Know you really like Witchblade cosplayers, I but <laughs> I like Witchblade. Uh, the darkness. Venom, Carnage. Nice. Yeah. 
Nice. I like stuff like that because I find them cool. And then, of course, like the Star Wars comics and Battlestar Galactica and Buffy. and Nice. So, uh, and it's funny, uh, listing all those different comics and stuff that you listen to, listen to, that you, uh, that you read and stuff. Only Buffy was the only female that I heard there. Witchblade? Sarah which, Pizzini? Which, which Blade? I'm sorry. <laughs> which Blade and Buffy? I, I, I do apologize. Which Blade was the first one? And you know, uh, he the was image still just, panting. I was still panting. I was still <laughs> ten, ten second Tom, right? Ooh, ten, ten second Ted. Ten second Ted. I can't believe you forgot that. <laughs> See what I did there? Because he forgets everything. Fifty first dates. Love it. Real uh, proud of you. Thank you. I'll be here all week. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, so even in your pull list, P U L L. Um, there's only seems to be like two female kind of heroines or, you know, uh, um, female centric, you know, stories. Mm-hmm. Do you find that with like other female geeks out there, like with the girls from the geek girls? Um, do you find that they're the same way or do you find that um, a lot of girls have more female heroine type uh, books that they read? I think as girls in the geek culture, just in general, we like to associate ourselves with heroic females, right? Even though we really aren't heroic at all. Um, I don't know about that. Uh, my mom was pretty heroic, having to deal with me all the time. Well, that's different. <laughs> Superhuman uh, strength she had a few times. Superhuman I'm, patience. Well, I don't know about that. You've met my mother. Oh, she I... <laughs> love you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're safe. <laughs> you said she doesn't listen, though, right? <laughs> no, no, no. She that doesn't. should say something. It really does. <laughs> it really does. But I don't want to say too much in case she does actually listen. You're a very nice lady. I've never met you. Hi. <laughs> yes. She's five feet of pure oh, pure Hulkness. <laughs> she she is the She-Hulk. <laughs> Um, yes. Uh, okay. So that there goes my Christmas gift this year. Mm-hmm. You're getting coal. <laughs> again, though. Again. <laughs> again. It's not even the first time, though, honestly. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Now now that we've co- completely gone off the rail there. <laughs> um, so, yeah. No, but it's not a thing. Like, And I understand that um, women wanted to read something where you could kind of visualize yourself in that title role. Um, is any of it, though... Like, because just going by your poll list itself, um, it almost sounds like you just read what you want to read, though. Yeah. It, like, it, there's no ulterior motive or it's got to be a female lead or anything like that. If it's a good no. story, it's a good story. Yeah, there are certain comics that I'll read just because I really want to do that costume. Or I've seen the costume, I've been like, that's phenomenal. I want to read that now. Nice. And there's other stuff that people have suggested to me that I should read, and I, I'll read it, but... So, what do you... At least in your opinion, what do you see is the problem uh, with uh, females in pop culture, like uh, the lack thereof? Do you do you see there as a problem, or do you see there that the, it's something that's getting better, or do you see something that it's never really been a problem and we're kind of blowing things out of proportion? Well, I know since cosplay has gotten so mainstream now, I'll call it, there have been a lot of females that have come into the cosplay world like I know I'm not a veteran or anything I've only been cosplaying myself for five years but kind of makes you a veteran though nowadays right because well, it's it hasn't really North America anyway yeah it hasn't been going on all that long the cosplaying well I know people that have been cosplaying for like 10 15 years oh wow and they're phenomenal at it but I call it, I consider them veterans whereas right. I've just been doing it for a while <laughs> so you're just a pro <laughs> well I wouldn't even go there but <laughs> if you want to I'll take it there you go. That's what I do for people. Mm-hmm. Like I said, lifting you up. Oh, yeah. I'm a skinny pro now. <laughs> Appreciate skinny it. Skinny GoPro. Um, don't ask. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you don't... Do you, uh, do you see a problem in the in the field at all when it comes to pop culture with uh, ladies? Are they prominent enough? Or I think there's always going to be problems when things become more mainstream because you have people coming in that are doing it for the wrong reasons. Right. And I know that's been a hot button topic for a couple years now where people don't think that these cosplayers are actually geeky enough to be doing it they're right. just doing it for attention like all the, are you talking about like all the sexy slave leias we see every cosplay i can't year? say anything because i've done slave leia before <laughs> so but um no there's just there's certain people that they start out in modeling and then they decide oh hey 
and I know I'm going to get in trouble for this, but I just, I don't <laughs> care anymore. They start out modeling and then they go into cosplay for a little bit and then they get pulled back out of cosplay because they're like, oh, this isn't my market. This isn't what I like. Right. But they know that they're sexy women, so people are going to buy pictures of them. Especially... If with the badoobs, the with, big badoobs. With the big badoobs, and yeah. if they're dressed up as a guy's favorite superhero, and mm -hmm. it usually goes pretty good. Oh yeah, at least for sales for them, I would imagine. So, so what's your stance on the the crossplay? I have crossplayed before, but I haven't drawn a beard on myself. I I was Luigi, and I had a stick on mustache. So that's about as far as I've gotten for the crossplay. But even then, I was wearing shorts. And now, what about uh, like when you see men dressed up as? I don't know. Uh, well, you see that because what is that? That's called like Rule sixty seven or something like that. Rule sixty three. Rule sixty three, exactly. Yeah. And that's where they gender swap. And I've seen that like uh, where they've done the Justice League, but it's all reverse. So like mm -hmm. it was Superwoman and Batwoman and Wonder Man and you know uh, yeah. Zatara, which I think is normal anyways. But still, mm -hmm. seeing them in the in the whatever you want the fishnet <laughs> stockings is not great. I, I mean, unless that's your thing, and hey, by all means, all the power to you. <laughs> Keep on rocking in the free world. <laughs> yes. I, I, I can see you cooking up ideas for me already. Oh, you have no idea, buddy. You have no <laughs> idea, especially with that beard. <laughs> You're keeping that beard and doing a Miss Martian you won't believe. <laughs> 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 Come on. You know you want to see Steve as Miss Martian. Miss, um, Miss Martian. The only picture I've actually seen of Steve outside of the videos that Rob shoots is him in a diaper or New Year's Eve tidy baby. whities. Uh, no, he was in no, a diaper. It was a diaper. diaper. It yeah. was a diaper, yeah. Well, it all depends on the way you look at it. I haven't slept for days. I'm just saying. <laughs> you inhabit her dreams, nightmares, whatever. It's all semantics, really. <laughs> Then, then I've done my job. You have, you have. Well, I don't know. Mm. that's nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, wait till you see once our show starts going. <laughs> uh oh. Wait till you th see the things we have planned for Steve. I feel and so bad. And it's great bad because he you. does not say no. Well, yeah, it's like I tell everybody. I say you can't embarrass someone with no shame. So this is very true. Buy him and we try. We try though. We do try. <laughs> We're gonna do everything we possibly and I, can. And I applaud the efforts. <laughs> One of these days, brother. One of these days. I have a collection of corsets that I think you would look great in. So we'll do that. All right. I think that'll give him a little shame. Just a little. Mm. Let's, plan, let's plan the photo shoot. Cosplay as Little Bo Peep. I'm just trying to think. Of, oh, so What about one of Little Bo Peep's sheep? That's too easy. Too easy. Mm. Too easy him being a sheep. You know, after him being at the Green Jelly concert and wearing the the little pig helmet or oh, yeah. mask, I, I think. As long uh, as there's no farmers behind me with rubber boots and Velcro gloves, I'm fine with that. I was thinking a Scotsman, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then, as we descend into madness yet again. It's the heat. It must be. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, uh, I just want to remind everybody, uh, because we are getting close to the end of the show, uh, you are listening to the Rat G uh, radio show here on 103.7 FM, CFBU, Brock Innovation Radio. Um, check us out live online at cfbu.ca. Uh, go to my YouTube page. Uh, I think it's Ryan Fleming. You can just look it up there. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Uh, or you can go to Wild Bunny Hair Photo Studios and uh, check out their videos there as well, where they post... Both the videos for uh, the interviews we do and then also uh, the show here itself. It's just a good way to see the show if you didn't get a chance to hear it live. So it's kind of like our podcast. And we do have podcasts as well. Just look us up at Rat G Radio on iTunes or Podcast Garden. You'll find all our old podcasts there. We don't do a whole lot of them now. Uh, please be warned. They are very explicit. They are not for children. Um, and yeah. Yeah, put your earmuffs on, folks. <laughs> um, so I'm here with Steve Lambert, as I am every weekend. We brought in with us this week. Uh, I can't even think of anything more other C's. The the cannonball of cosplay, <laughs> the the countess of cosplay. Hey, 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 uh, Kira Cons. Uh, now, Kira, you said uh, you're with a group as well, and do you have a? Do you want to promote your group and uh, any pages that you may be affiliated Ooh. with? Uh, well, I am an official geek girl for geekxgirls.com. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Geek X girls? Not three X's, just one. No, I know, but X, like, used to be girls? 
Surprise! No. <laughs> no, it, Geek Girls was taken, so we just decided to add a little kiss in there. So ah, Geek gotcha. X Girls. Like Bush when they play in Canada. Right. They're Bush X. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Useless facts number three. Um, <laughs> so you have Geek Girls X, and is that right on Facebook? Uh, yeah, we do have a Facebook page just called Geek Girls. Uh, yes. You'll see a sexy Boba Fett as our cover or as our profile photo. No, I, I, yeah. I think I've actually seen that picture before. Yeah. Jeremy Bullock is pretty sexy. He Jeremy does work Bullock? it. He works it. Are we ta- oh, okay, we're not talking Jim J. Bullock though. <laughs> It's a lot different. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> and what else you got for us? Uh, well, I've got my official cosplay page, which is facebook.com slash Kiara Player 2 Geek Girl. Or if you look up Player TWO, I'm on there. You're Player 2? I am Player 2. Oh. Surprise! <laughs> so that explains why you cosplayed as Luigi. That's actually how I two. got the name. <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> it all makes sense now. Yeah. I'm like, who really cosplays as Luigi? It's like you you draw you drew the short stick. It's like mm. having to cosplay as Aquaman. Luigi's the taller <laughs> brother. <laughs> he may be the taller brother, but he's not the more famous brother. Yeah. Well, Mario can go. You know what? He, he's the. D- <laughs> He, he's the Donnie Wahlberg of the family. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he may be, I don't, what's the other one that makes the burgers? Yeah, <laughs> he, Wahlbergers. Or, yeah, I don't even know what his name is, yeah. but yeah. Sorry. Rude. <laughs> That's what we do here. That's how we ingratiate ourselves to our guests every week. Um, so, well, I just uh, want to say, because we are wrapping up and everything, I want to say thanks so much for coming on the show. It was Anytime. great. Um, goes by quick, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like a... That hour goes by like that. That was probably the worst snap ever. Still, still bad. No. But yeah, um, yeah. We do thank you for coming on. Um, people need to keep a lookout because uh, we're going to be doing an interview, getting more in depth uh, with uh, women in pop culture and cosplay and things like that. Um, that we're going to be partnering up with Wild Bunny Hair Photo Studios as we do all the time. Can I yeah. Can I say one thing? Yeah, of course, Mr. So- Goldie. The videos for the radio show that we're taping right now, um, they will be coming out more frequently. Um, Our goal is to hit Tuesdays. So every Tuesday from maybe this Tuesday, I'm hopefully going to get last week's up tomorrow, but I don't know yet. But every Tuesday, there will be a video of this show that you can get. Sweet. Either on Ryan's YouTube page or Facebook or wherever you get your videos from we'll be everywhere so you can plan your uh, rat g viewing parties and that's right because there is there anything better than a rat g viewing party there needs to be a rat g drinking game we need to work on that i, I have rat g viewing parties at my house but it's usually just me trying to get my my kids friends to go look i'm famous yeah. i'm famous <laughs> you're not the only one brother <laughs> well with that we've come to the end of another show i just want to thank everybody for listening i want to say a special shout out to kira Khan for coming on the show uh, special thanks to my co-host Steve Lambert and of course to Robert Goldie who does all our video work at Wild Bunny Hair Photo Studios um, and of course special shout out to uh, Black Magic who gives us our theme song every week with that folks I just want to say thank you so much for listening to Ratchy Radio right here on 103.7 FM CFBU and we are out of here <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.